Hi, my name is Mark. Welcome to take 444, another trawl through my psychedelic archive. Still on A, um, starting with uh, American Blues um, and their album is here. Uh, this is a, a reissue on Microdot Records. Um, not entirely sure how, uh, how legitimate that is, but um, Probably this probably came out in the 80s or early 90s. Um, so this is a, a pre-ZZ Top. Um, this was the other half of uh, ZZ Top. Moving Sidewalks obviously had uh, one half and American Blues had the other. Recorded in Texas, it says down here. Um, and it's pretty good stuff. Uh, 1968, I believe. Next, we have uh, an original copy of American Dream. I believe they came from Chicago. This is on Ampex Records, produced by Todd Rundgren. That's the uh, the label. Um, so, yeah, it's a, a good sight record. This uh, fairly easy to get hold of. Um, for some reason, the sleeves printed upside down. Not sure if that was a mistake or whether something just to fool the heads. But uh, that's how my copy is. Next, we have uh, the American Revolution. This is Exploito Psych um, on flip disc. Uh, I don't have a problem with um, the uh, the subgenre of uh, exploited Exploito Psych. Um, it all sounds pretty good to me. Um, so that's the uh, that's rather cool, rather cool label. Uh, so this, I think, came out in 68 or 69. Um, yeah, I can't see, 68 or 69. Um, and it's probably a couple of years uh, too late, really, for for what they were aiming at. Um, it's more pop psych, sort of revolver era Beatles. Uh, but, um, but a good record. And uh, not not too hard to pick up. Next, we're over to uh, the UK and the band Affinity with uh, a famous sleeve. Um, this is a Vertigo Swirl record. I'm sure most of you have seen this cover, the infrared, um, and that's the ins inside. So this is a reissue on Repertoire. Uh, this is a Half Speed Master, as it says, Mastered at Abbey Road. Um, this is a fantastic record um, and well worth uh, searching out. This is a, uh, so this, I think this came out in 70 or 71. Um, so it's a proggy psych, female vocalist. Um, this is their only album. It, they just, they just did, couldn't get anywhere. Um, and they, they all packed up. Um, but it's uh, they're they're good good musicians and it uh, they had some good songwriters too. Um, if you can find this, uh, they, they do a, co a cover of uh, All Along the Watchtower on here. Um, there is a video on YouTube of Affinity on tour in 1970 or 71 with Annie Nightingale um, from the BBC, uh, all crammed into the back of a transit. Uh, there's no, unfortunately, there's no um, film of them playing live, but uh, it does give you an idea of how unglamorous the rock world was if you hadn't made it, um, and how poor the, the conditions were backstage and the poor condition of the British roads in the early 70s. Um, I'll put uh, a link to that uh, below because it's well worth searching out. It's really funny. Um, next up is uh, Amaryllis. Um, uh, that's the name of the album. Bread, Love and Dreams is the name of the band, which I believe is a, the name of a film in the 50s. I'm not entirely sure. I think that's where it comes. So this is a acid folk. This is on. This is a reissue on Magic Box. That's the hype sticker. Um, I urge you to pick this one up. This is fantastic. This is highest top draw psych uh, acid folk. Um, and uh, 
fantastic playing, um, light as a feather. Um, and this has got some couple of members of uh, Pentangle playing on it, so they, it comes with a couple of uh, postcards as well. Um, this, I believe, is their second album. I haven't got the first one, um, but I, I need to pick it up because this is a, a great record. Um, highly recommended. Next up, we have um, a band from Florida. This is uh, called After All. Um, and this is another fine, fine record and another great sleeve. Uh, how cool is that? Um, so this is a proggy psych with classical overtones. This is a reissue on Outsider. Um, definitely worth picking up. It's, it's a great record. Um, fantastic musicianship and uh they don't they don't overplay it um and they hit all, all the right buttons uh, highly recommended next we have uh, much more up to date this is a japanese band acid mother's temple and the floating paradiso ufo um this is their album zap your mind okay they have released dozens and dozens of albums. This is from around 2000, 2001 or something. Um, they have released dozens of albums um, and they're all much of a muchness. They're all, uh, I wouldn't, all the ones I've heard, I've got about five or six of them, um, some on CD. Um, I wouldn't really be able to separate them. Um, I picked this one because it has such a fantastic cover. Um, Kawabata Masoko is the Japanese, the, uh, is the uh, guitar player. Um, the rest of the band is pretty much interchangeable um, and they tour constantly. They're actually on tour at the moment. I've seen them a few times and they are brilliant. Um, great light show. Uh, it's kind of space rock, kraut rock, wall of sound, lots of heavy guitars. Um, if you like that sort of thing, check them out because they're very good. Uh, but they have released lots of records. This is another one. This is Lenovia. Um, they do. Uh, they they've got one album of uh, Terry Riding's In C. Uh, I, they I don't know how many records they've produced, but a lot. Another one. Uh, this is called Ben Zeiten. This is the last most recent one I've got. This is from about three or four years ago, I believe. Um, double album. Um, on lots of different labels, so I'm, you know, they, they are, they, they tend to swap labels around quite a lot. Um, but uh, check them out. Acid Mother's Temple. Next, we have um, another Exploito album, Animated Egg. I'm sure all of you know this, Psychedelic Sound. This is Jerry Cole, who was in the band The Id. Um, basically, is that they were a studio band. Um, this is a German issue from 68. Um, Billy Preston, I believe, plays on this. Uh, it's um, Billy Preston from the Fab Four and Stones and his own career. Um, it's all instrumental, but it's uh, worth picking up. Um, vomit inducing cover, that one. Another uh, exploito psych is uh, the Astral Projection and the Astral Scene. I'm not can't remember which one was the band that I believe uh, yeah I can't remember if the if the band were called Astral Projection or the Astral Scene but um, this is a reissue on uh, Himalaya Records uh, I think there was limited edition of 500 um, I haven't ever seen an original uh, so this is um, although it's exploito it was it was put together to uh, to cash in on the market for psychedelia. But um, this is very sophisticated pop psych uh, and vocal pop psych. So lots of very gossamer thin harmonies and, uh, and it's absolutely brilliant. It's really good, um, highly recommended. Uh, last two are from the same band, this is uh, Brian Auger in the Trinity with Julie Driscoll. This is a best of on Polydor. 
with the uh, solarized cover. Um, this is from the early 70s, I think. Um, so their big hit was This Wheel's on Fire, the Dylan track, but they also do a fantastic track called Indian Rope Man, which is, it's all, Brian Norgren's a keyboard player, Hammond player, um, and it's all very heavy, distorted Hammond organ, um, and it's great stuff, really good. Big club act in London in the late 60s. Um, and the last one is Street Noise, which is uh, another of their albums. This is from 68, I believe. This is on uh, Marmalade Records, Giorgio Gamelski's uh, label. Um, and very good it is too. That's your lot for this week. See you soon. <laughs>